Welcome to battle number three of week four. This battle is pitting the Miami Mobiles FFC versus Dutch NK's quest requested. As a reminder, the Mega Evolutions available in this fight are Mega Agron on Miami Mobiles and Mega Houndoom on Dutch NK's. We have a possibility to see them both today. And the Z Crystals are ICMZ on Miami Mobiles and Wat Water EMZ on Dutch NK's. Joining me today with this match is Kudo from Neon Espions in commentary, so thank you for joining. And what I'd like to say is just uh, this is <laughs> this is a highly anticipated matchup here. Um, both of these uh, c contenders here are at 3-0, so one of them is going to get their first loss here. They've done really exciting and strong matches their last three matches, so I'm really excited to see what they pull off here. Um, so we're going to start with initial thoughts. Uh, am I going first? Yeah, you can go ahead and go first. Uh, okay, so I, I know FMC was mainly worried about uh, Mew and Celestial, which I don't see the Celestial, but like uh, he was asking me about, um, like, he was just talking to me about it earlier. Um, I think it was yesterday. Anyways, uh, and I was looking over his team a little bit. Actually, I saved him his uh, Zapdos nature. It was almost careful, which is like a minus special attack. Oh wow. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he almost had a minus special attack nature on his Zapdos. Now it's coming in with uh, a minus attack nature, same uh, thing, so calm, I believe. Uh, anyways, so yeah, he was worried about Mew, since you can run a lot of different things on Mew, and I can, yeah. I, I see where the threat is there, especially since um, it's pretty powerful. Uh, what, uh, like it, it's got so many sets you can run on it. It's very unexpected to see in this kind of tournament or tournament. Yeah. Like, format. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I agree. Um, I think one of the Pokemon that Quest is going to have to work, watch out for in this match is actually Mega Agron. Mega Agron. I, I don't think there's a lot of Pokemon Quest sides that can deal with Mega Agron too easily minus Houndoom um, and as usual Victini poses a big uh, a pretty big threat however I don't think this time around the threat is actually as big there's a lot of Pokemon that resist Victini uh, in this match I think Quest really came prepared for Victini uh, one thing that FFC is going to have to watch out for is the Excel Rock from Lycanroc that that could take down Zapdos and Victini um, and of course Mew with the versatility. I, I'm just so excited to see how this match unfolds. So, so yeah. Um, Want to get to it? Yeah, we're good. good. Uh, I'm um, to go. Okay. So... <laughs> We're ready for them to start the animal and washing machine fighting. <laughs> I, I do think Rotom's going to come out first, probably. Yeah, well, I, I meant, uh, uh, that's not what I meant. I meant, like, Rotom. Rotom, Rotom is, like, the only thing that isn't, um, maybe it's something you turn on, boo, over there. Oh, okay, so Zapdos comes out, switches immediately to Aggron, the fake out, dealing oh, one damage. Agron's gonna have to worry about Aura Sphere, but uh, the Mega Evolution will mean will allow it to take that. Okay, we have Stealth Rock up and uh -huh. Toxic. Toxic missing. missing. Yeah, Toxic can't synchronize over either since it's Steel type. So we already know three of the moves from Mew. We have Fake Out, Stealth Rock, and U Turn. I'm wondering what that fourth move is. Some Probably Psychic type. Maybe Psychic, yeah. Some versatility lost from Mew once you figure out what its moveset is. So, a little risky by Quest to reveal it so early, but having Stealth Rock up on the other side of the field is already a, a good a good thing for him. I think uh, yeah. FFC doesn't have any defoggers except Zapdos. Uh, 
uh, I believe so. He was, he was, uh, I know Zapdos has Defog if his set is still being run the same. So, yeah. I, I probably should come in here and just say what he has. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretend you know nothing. But, uh, Zapdos, and then there's no Rapid Spinners, so, yeah. Okay, we have Bester Dog out, and Bester Dog takes that Toxic. Uh, honestly, I only really looked at Zapdos when I was looking at his team, though, so I actually don't remember half the other stuff. So, oh, I, that's all I can really do <laughs> anyways, so... I'm predicting a switch from Mega Aggron. Houndoom can threaten really hard, although if he switches to something like Milotic or Victini, a dark move could also hit really hard too, so he's gonna have to be very careful here. I think I think the only really safe switch in is Milotic, yeah. Even though yeah, the dark move might do Milotic. a bit. Oh, and Flamethrower coming from the regular Houndoom and not the Mega Houndoom. Interesting choice there. Huh, wonder what it has. Maybe, oh, I think maybe he wants to keep the Flash Fire. Yeah, that's possible uh, for any, or maybe he's trying to. He doesn't have any. Does he have any sunny day or? Hey, Zapdos what comes out, it? and Sticky Web is up on the other side of the field. However, a t defog will remove it, and defog it removes it, and liquidation will take Zapdos down to thirty-four percent after leftovers. Quest, I think Quest did call out that that defog attacking with the strong liquidation there, but now Zapdos is free to attack. Might go for the Volt Switch, that's the safest option I think right now. Yeah, uh, wait, but not just you, I could have swore you, you turned for some reason. Who? Uh, Zapdos. Like, what? <laughs> it doesn't, I don't even think it gets that, but... <laughs> Uh, for some reason I thought it went for, uh, what's you want to call it, uh, I can't speak now. For some reason I thought it went for a U-turn, I'm like, what? I think, I think what we'll probably see is a Volt Switch. I think maybe Drudagon could come in to... Huh. Oh, okay, so we oh. have a switch, a regular switch to Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu is actually a big threat here. I don't think anything on Quest team could actually handle Tapu Bulu except Houndoom, but Houndoom can't safely switch into anything. Yeah, it took, it could take like a fighting type move from uh, Tapu Bulu pretty heavily. So maybe this thing has U turn, U turn uh, switches into Houndoom and it's slower, right? Yeah. I don't think Araquanid has U turn, slower. does it? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think so. It might have a bug type move, can hit grass. Lunge or leech life, but I don't think it has a U-turn. Yeah, I have no idea. I just kind of at this point assume most bug types have it, so. <laughs> Which isn't a bad assumption, typically. There's a lot yeah, of this, is, have this is tough for Quest. Tapu Bulu is actually the Pokemon that could take down most of Quest's team pretty easily. So out it's out safely, yeah. He's gonna have to be very careful here. For sure. And there's leftovers too, so if it just like if it it can regain all its health right here if it pretty much. Yeah. Tapu Bulu has been fair. a star on FFC's team uh consistently. Tapu Bulu hits extremely hard oh, in so grassy terrain. Oh, and the Toxic fails because of a substitute. Ooh, this is a really good spot for Tapu Bulu to be in. Not a good spot for Quest. Sword Swords dance. dance hitting. And Sticky Web is up again. I don't know if, if that's going to do anything for him right now. So we have Substitute and Swords Dance. So I'm assuming the other two moves will probably be Wood Hammer and, Wood Hammer and Play Rough. Yeah, Play Rough. Probably both stab moves. Unresisted. Oh, I combination. forgot Playrough can also hit uh, Houndoom, now that I think about it. And Gr Drudagon's here. Horn Leech. Horn Leech. Yeah, that also makes sense. Horn Leech is grass, right? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> the grassy terrain's That's... up for one more turn, and Poison Tail hits. Horn Leech taking down Drudagon, and that's the first Pokemon to go down. And now. 
Houndoom is yeah, here. Houndoom, definitely Houndoom. Very threatening to Tapu Bulu. I am unsure. I, I'd switch into Zapdos. Well, Zapdos is weak, though. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's either switching to Milotic or if Zapdos can survive, maybe a flamethrower. Switching to Zapdos. Get the defog out. Uh, might have Roost too, so it can heal and then use defog. It's pretty specially defensive, typically. That's true, although I don't know if it could take one of Houndoom's attack. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why I said uh, maybe not. But I don't know. I feel like safe is such in Milotic. But Milotic, yeah. It's also slow. It'll get slowed down. Pick you up right there, yeah. And another flamethrower from a regular Houndoom. Oh, burn. It's burned, which is good and bad it news is. for it. Probably oh, good yeah, news if right. it has Marvel scale. Marvel scale, yeah. Bad news if it doesn't. I mean, it just invalidates the leftovers, typically, but. Okay, it's not and like Mew it, is back. Oh, Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail will send out Araquanid. Interesting. Araquanid actually really isn't a bad Pokemon to be out versus Milotic, so. Yeah, I just don't really see Dragon Tail that often. It, it's a good move for, for Milotic if it wants to use Haze in a way like. You get the same effect of Haze without being Taunt Bait, because you could phase out a Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Okay, and Toxic. Scald is going to hit, not doing a lot of damage there. Well, now I believe we know Milotic's full moveset. No, we do not. Scald, Dragon Tail, uh, and Toxic. Last move is probably Recover. Yeah, that might make a lot of sense. Okay, and the Scald hits oh. Moo. Synchronize... Yep. That's gonna Not help working. a lot. Yeah. Moo just Especially, really wants stealth rocks up right now, I think. Especially since it's got the fake out uh, U turn deal. Fake out hitting. I would have gone for the stealth rocks. Still no stealth rocks up. Interesting. Um, I think. I don't know, maybe he. Lycanroc is out, and now Stealth Rock is up on his side of the field. Yeah, I don't really know what he was going for when he didn't Stealth Rock. Uh, I don't know, maybe he was expecting another Dragon Kill, but I want to risk, I don't know, maybe he wanted to keep you out for some reason. I'm not really sure. An Iron Head could hit pretty hard right now. And yep, yeah, the is. Iron Head takes down Lycanroc. 6-4 score. And I expect probably we might see Houndoom. We might see Rotom. Houndoom with Filter though. I don't know if it can do that much. Yeah, yeah I was Rotom. thinking Rotom more, especially since Rotom has um, Rotom has a lot more health and has more survivability right now since Houndoom has the Toxic on it. I think Rotom is 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 pretty pretty. Uh, Probably his best bet for dealing with this. Losing losing Lycan Rock was very bad for Quest. That was a key Pokemon with Excel Rock versus yeah. Victini. So now Victini poses a bigger threat than ever to his team right now. He's still keeping Houndoom in the base form, I believe, to take advantage of that flash fire to counter Victini. Okay, and Moo comes back out. I don't know if he goes for a fake out here because if he goes for a fake out, the burn damage just gets more. Uh, yeah, so no fake out. Stealth, Stealth Rock is up, up, and Moo I don't know what is that's down. Do for him right now. I just it, this Agon could potentially at least take care of. Uh, well, Rotom. He could go Volt Switch right into something else or deal massive damage with Volt Switch in the or. Rotom in general. Yeah, Rotom is probably going to be the one to come out. Else. Yeah. So even if he, even if he doesn't, uh, even if he doesn't kill with Rotom, he can just go into something that can kill. I'm wondering if Rotom comes out, will it be able to KO it, with Hydro Pump? Yeah, that's a possibility. I just don't. I I don't know if he would. I also I 
Hopefully he doesn't go for the Volt Switch, because Volt Switch will switch right into a, a easily KO'd Pokemon. Araquanid won't be KO'd by Aggron. Uh, does it have... might have a Rock type move though. I think? Maybe. I, we haven't seen its fourth move, yeah, so that's why I Yeah, we haven't seen that. its fourth move. So... Okay, we have okay, Duster right, Dog. Uh, My Lawtick is probably gonna come out, so maybe he'll go for a Dark Pulse? Uh... I don't know if he risks it against, uh... Aggron, though. Okay. Thunder Punch yeah, hits. Steve, that's, Ooh, and Houndoom is down. That's why I said probably not the probably not the Dark Pulse there. Very bad situation for Quest to be in. And Volt Switch takes down the first Pokemon on FFC's side. Agron. I'm expecting yeah, maybe uh, Zapdos to come out versus Araquanid. Once Tapu the Bulu. okay, Tapu Bulu's out. I also expect it. Uh, toast, not gonna lie. Yeah, this is not this is not looking good for Quest. Let's see if Quest can turn it around. Substitutes up again. Liquidation hits, but does not break through the substitute. That's gonna be bad. Yeah. For this Rackmanid, that gets a sword stance off, and then potentially a potentially a uh, horn leech. Yeah, Horn Leech will do it, I think, on both of the remaining Pokemon. He might even be able to yeah, stall it out. Uh, keep resisting this damage, and it'll eventually die from Toxic. Yep, yeah, there's the Horn Leech. And Horn Leech takes down Araquanid. Only Rotom Wash left. This is, I think, pretty much Not game. Not looking good, yeah. Ed, Rotom Wash is typically choice, right? Yes. Yeah, so. so yeah. It's gotta there's nothing it can really do here. It's either take out the Pokemon or not take out the Pokemon. Alright, and that's it. FFC yeah. wins Miami Mobiles with a score of 5-0. Uh, was... Quest just said really good predictions and and he's absolutely right. The predictions pretty much all worked out in his favor. Even like the 50 50 ones, uh, the, the risky ones, like all of his predictions worked out in his favor. So he did a really he did a really good job in that department. I think Quest made good predictions too, but the 50 50s did not work out in Quest's favor. Um, such as the Dark Pulse versus Mega Agron. I was expecting the switch to my Lotic just like before, and then there was no switch. So things like that, but. Um, just really shows how competent both sides are in their prediction game and in their preparedness. They 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 had a similar prediction mindset in this battle. So really really good stuff from both teams here. Yeah, I think uh, generally uh, I was expecting this match to be a lot closer. Actually, yeah. Uh, FFC kind of just ran away with it. Yeah. Uh, Tapu Bulu. I think Tapu Bulu was was one of the defining Pokemon for him. That Tapu Bulu was a menace, especially with think, Substitute. Yeah, I think having the Milotic too, uh, that could, that kind of at least checked a lot of things, like if he needed to send it out just to force a switch out for Tapu Bulu, like the, like the Hunted, not even, he didn't even have to use uh, the Milotic that much, but uh, the Dragon Tail on that also working wonders. Yeah. Uh, to force things to switch out if need be. Uh, yeah. And I think Agon put a lot of work here too with the filter. I think his team composition overall just generally works a lot together. Yeah. Uh, how I think his team is very well planned out here. Yeah. I, I I'm I'm kind of curious why Quest went for the fake out Mew. It didn't really seem to work out in his favor. I was wondering why he decided to go for Fake Out Mew instead of maybe having a Nasty Plot Mew or any any other know. Mew. Maybe he was expecting different Mons. I don't know. It's uh, surprising, I guess. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe... I feel like Rotom could have done the job just as well, though. Uh, he didn't really need the Fake Out. Yeah. Uh, he had his 
his lead and his pivot within Rotom. He didn't really need that in Mew, I guess. That's how I kind of saw it. Yeah. And, and the million dollar question too. Did he even have Mega Houndoom? Was he keeping it with Flash Fire for Victini? Or was it? Yeah. did it have a different item altogether? Um, you know, a possibility. It could have had like a choice, a choice item. Considering uh, it only used Flamethrower or Dark Pulse when it came out. It didn't use uh, two different moves, did it? I don't. I think those are the only moves we saw from it. Yeah. It only like like when it came out, it would use one move and not the other move. I guess. Because like when it came out versus Agron, it only got to use Dark Pulse and then it died, and then. Uh, Previously, it used Flamethrower versus other bonds that switched into my Lotic, and it switched out, so I don't know, maybe it could have been choice. Yeah, that's a possibility, too. Yeah. Alright, well, really, really exciting match there. FFC going with the win to 4 0 now, Quest still at a solid 3 1, and I believe we have a match right after this with Vanyu and Noob Scrubs, so tune in for that. Uh, once again, this was Kuro from Neon Espions. Thanks for joining with the commentary, and tune in for more Week 4 matches.